adore you. We kneel down before you. Oh yes, Jesus, we worship your holy name. We'll sing it one more time. Say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes, Lord, we worship your holy, your holy name. And Jesus, we adore you. We kneel down before you. Oh, we worship your holy name. And I will bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his whole, hallelujah, bless his holy, I will bless his name. Is anybody out there in need of anything? We have to bless the name of Jesus. This next part says, For he has done great things. Has he done anything for you? Yes, he has done great things. We bless you, Jesus, for he has done great things. his holy come on and bless his holy name bless the name of the Lord please receive our administrative assistant Elder Dukes hallelujah bless his holy name hallelujah bless his holy name come on and put your hands together out there in Facebook land God is good and all the time God is good. Amen. We're getting prepared for prayer this morning. We're going to allow God to have his way. I need thee home. I need thee. What up? Lifted hands right where you are. Every hour. I need thee. Oh, bless him. Oh, bless him. Be now my Savior. Hallelujah. I come to, hallelujah, I come to thee. I need, bless him, behold, bless his name. I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, save, Savior. I come to. I need, come on and bless them. The whole, I need thee. Yeah, free hour. Oh, oh, I need thee. My, 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 oh, bless me now. My say. Saint Savior, I come, oh, to, oh, I come to thee. If you love him, say yes, yes, oh, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you ought to bless them right where you are. Yes. Oh, oh. come on, say it one. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we thank you this morning, God, for allowing us to be here this morning, God. Before we ask you, God, for anything, we thank you, God, for all that you have done for us. Lord God, we ask that you will meet us in this place this morning, God. Meet us, God, and fill us with your spirit, God. Lord God, we thank you this morning, God, for all of the protections that you have blessed us with, God, that you have sustained the hand of the enemy, God, this morning. And Lord, we thank you for that this morning. We thank you for our life, our health, and our strength this morning. Lord God, we just ask that you will continue, God, to be all that you are in our lives, God. And we will continue, God, to give you the praise this morning. Lord God, we thank you for the word that's to come forth this morning. Lord, we ask that you will allow Allow us to open our hearts to receive the word in which you have for us today. Lord God, we ask that you will allow your spirit to move freely in this place, God. Freely in the homes of those that are watching, God, wherever they may be, God. We ask that you will send a special blessing and a special anointing, a special word just for them this morning. Lord God, we thank you again, God. We bless your name, God. We praise your name, God. For that, God, we seal the prayer, God, with all thanksgiving, all honor, all glory, and all praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Come on, church. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Say it again. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord Come on and testify. He saved me. He saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord Say, say it one more time. He saved me. He saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. If it had not been, where would, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. Good morning, good morning, good morning. The Old Testament comes from Proverbs, the third chapter, first through the sixth verse, and it reads as though, my son, don't forget my teachings, but let your heart keep my commands, for they will bring you many days a full life and well-being. Never let loyalty and faithfulness leave you. Tie them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will find favor and high regard in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Then you will find favor and high regard in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understandings. Think about him in your ways and he will guide you from evil. Amen, amen. I'm coming today from the New Testament, 1 Peter 4, verses 12 through 14, amen. In 1 Peter 4, 12 through 14 reads, Beloved, I think it not strange according to the fiery trial which is to try you, 
as though some strange thing has happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as you are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you. For the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. I'm going to say that last part one more time. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to go in this direction. The song says that we're blessed in the city and blessed in the fields. Blessed when we come and blessed when we go. Do you believe that? I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the fields. I'm blessed when I come and I'm blessed when I go. Can y'all help us lift this this morning? Come on and put your hands together like this. I don't know about you, but I know that I'm blessed. Is that right? I want to wake y'all up just a little bit. Get some energy in you as we come to lift up the name of Jesus. We're alive and well today. Don't you forget that. Listen, we're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We, can y'all help me say it? Come on. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. Let's say it one more time. We're blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We, y'all hold it. Now, I'm looking at y'all in the audience and y'all looking at me. Now, I don't know about you, but if you're standing here, then you have something to give God thanks for. Can y'all clap? Can you put your hands together? Right? It's okay to move. It's okay to smile. It's all right. Now we're going to lift it one more time and we're going to move on. But as much as you can sing, let the Lord know that you are blessed when you come and you go because of him. And if we have the breath and life just to put our hands together or rock from side to side, we're blessed when we come and when we go. Is that right? Come on, let's hit it. Say we're blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty but for the devil. Come on, let's take it. Oh, say late, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn it around. He's gonna work in your favor. Oh, say late, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna, he's gonna work. He's gonna work in your favor. Come on, say late in the midnight, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn, he's gonna work. He's gonna work in your favor. Come on, say late in, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn and around and around and around and around. We're blessed, we're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come. We cast it, we cast down every stronghold. Come on, for the devil. We gonna tell them again. Come on. Oh, say late, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna come on. Say late, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna. Oh, say late, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna. He's gonna work. He's gonna work in your. Stay right there. Oh, he's gonna work. He's gonna work in your favor. Come on. Oh, he's gonna work. He's gonna work in your favor. I like that. Come on. He's gonna work. He's gonna work in your favor. Yes, he will. He's gonna work. He's gonna work in your favor. Oh, say late, late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn it around. 
and around and around and around and around and around. He will turn it. He will bless you. He will deliver you. He will see you through. He will turn it around, 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 around. Come on and clap those hands. We're blessing the city. Bless in the fields, bless when we come and when we go. Casting down every stronghold, sickness and poverty will cease, for the devil is defeated. somebody and say neighbor late in the midnight hour God's gonna work in your favor and he's gonna turn it around come on find somebody else and say neighbor late in the midnight hour God's gonna work in your favor and he's gonna turn it around and around and around I dare you, if you're sitting in your living room, get up and just turn around and tell somebody he's going to turn it around. He will, he will, he will. Well, come on, let's praise him in here.
Somebody ought to be taking a selfie. Send it to me. Just look in the direction of somebody and say, he will. Come on, tell him, he will. He will. He will. He will, all along. He will, Sister Money. He will, Brother Allen. Sister Shayla. He will. Whatever you're going through, all you that are sick and shut in, he will. Father God, we thank you for everything that you've done for us. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. We surrender to your will, not our will, but thine will be done. And God, we thank you for what you've already done and what you're going to do. Stop by here this morning and sup with us. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. And we give you praise, we give you honor and glory for all that you've done and what you're going to do. Stop by the nursing home, detention center. Stop by the prison. Stop by those homes, those that are watching on Facebook, YouTube. God, touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Woman, be healed. Man, be healed. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We come against everything that you try and you think you want to do. We come against it and we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead it right now. There's power, Lord, in your name. There's healing in your name. There's deliverance in your name. And we thank you. And we forever give your name praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Put them hands together and give God praise. We do thank God for all of you, you that are watching now on Facebook and YouTube. Please share right now. We have a word for you. Please share right now. Contact your family members and tell them to share. Push that share button. Amen. Have a watch party on my behalf for the Lord. Amen, amen. Have a watch party. And you that are on the fast, you can eat some more vegetables and nuts. Amen. And your watch party. <laughs> amen. 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 God is good. We've been on it. Amen. Not only while on the fast, amen. Amen. We've dropped some pounds. Man wanted and needed. Some didn't want, but needed. Thank God for deliverance. Amen. How many of you believe that God can do anything but fail? He'll make the impossible possible. Amen. And we're thankful you that are sharing. Amen. Share with your neighbors at this time. We're getting ready to go into the word. We're getting ready to go into the word. Uh, just a small scripture that means so much, has so much in it, amen. And we're living in a time now where we, we need to be praying. Amen. The enemy is loose. And some people are surprised that he's loose. How many of you know he's been loose for a while? Amen. Not yet the end. 
but the beginning of sorrows. There are going to be some good days, going to be some bad days, but through it all, we as believers must learn how to trust and lean and depend on the Lord. Amen. Just uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17, the fifth chapter, 17th verse. I thought about uh, the, the Sunday school team this morning. They were talking about the power of the Lord able to be able to walk on the water and the seas and the storms were calm just by his presence and at his word. Amen. And then I begin to think about situations that are in our lives because we know who he is. We have the same power to speak to our situation. And whatever you're going through in your life, whatever your situation is, whatever the circumstance is, I'm here to let you know, take the power that's in your mouth and speak to your situation and be healed, be set free, and be delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God is good and he's worthy. Hey, I felt something right then, dude. I felt something. Somebody just got their healing. Hallelujah. Glory. I refuse to let the devil win. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we give up in the fight. When we know we are equipped with everything that we need to resist this devil and win. Sometimes because of the challenges of life, we back up and quit. But I'm here to tell you to keep fighting and keep pushing. Amen, amen. We're going to pray until something happens. Amen. The 17th verse, 5th chapter of 1 Thessalonians. Amen. The 17th verse says to what? Pray without ceasing. Amen. The reason we ought to pray. The reason to pray. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him the reason to pray. God bless you. You may take your seat. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus. Blessed Savior. Oh, my Lord. Come on, just say, praise him, praise him, praise oh my Lord, praise him, praise him, Jesus, blessed Savior. We sang it one more time. Come on, help me pray them. Pray. Oh. Uh -huh. 
blessed Savior. Blessed. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is. From the rising. From the rising. From the writhing of the sun, of the same, he is worthy to be praised. Well, go ahead, Elder Dukes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He goes everywhere that I go. Amen. Makes preaching easy. Amen. And there's a difference in the plan because of the anointing and the gift that God has blessed him with. Amen. Praying without season, a reason why. God bless all of you to uh, administrators and musicians and ministers and to the evangelists and the deacon, amen. To the first lady of the house, amen. God bless you. All of our sing singers and our senior elder, Elder Long, amen. And we're keeping him and Sister Money and all those that are sick and shut in, uh, amen. Sister Janice and Sister Gail, amen. Mother John Ola, we want to keep all them in prayer. Amen. Because this thing that's out there, amen, is something else. And you better learn to protect yourself. Amen. Even here at the church, we've already cut down to cut down. Amen. Amen. Because we understand how important it is to be safe. Amen. And do we do understand that everybody just ain't going to do what they're supposed to do. I don't care how many hot tot tars or yah, yah, yahs. Amen. I don't care how many chairs they hurdle during the course of the service. Some folk just ain't going to do right. 
Amen. They on one of them plans you was talking about yesterday. <laughs> Brother Solomon, I'm going to leave that right there. Amen. Amen. They just ain't going to do right. I don't care what you say. The man say, this thing is bad and you're going to die. And then I heard one lady say, well, whatever. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Amen. And I just started just saying a prayer over her. Amen. Amen. How many of you know when you see trouble, sometimes it's good to resist? And the Bible say it will. Come on. It didn't say what kind of trouble. Say resist the devil. The devil is trouble. Amen. Amen. Anything, amen, that comes to harm you or to take you out, resist it. And amen. We don't run to the things that we ought to run to. Amen. Most people say I run to the rock of my salvation. Amen. Y'all will get that when you get home. And another preacher say when you get to the traffic light. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Duke. Sounds so wonderful. I was just going to sit there and not preach and just let you and Coop play. The rest of the service just have a music ministry. Every day. If I don't holler, is that okay? And I'm going to try myself to keep myself calm and behave in the most uh, studious way that I know how. Being brought up in the Pentecostal church, you know, and when I was five years old doing the Pledge of Allegiance, I started shouting, <laughs> amen. When they start singing, my country tears of thee, I start shouting, <laughs> amen, because I assume, amen, coming up in the Holiness Church, when we heard songs that had a little bit of a beat to them, or rhythm, we were supposed to shout. Amen, amen. And when they said something like, in God we trust, that was the key. Amen. Looked like I was hypnotized. And when I heard in God, right from the age of four all the way up until now. Amen. One of those plans, Elder Solomon. Amen. Amen. So that's what I assume. And now uh, my little grand boys, amen, amen, they they assume they're supposed to get up every morning and turn on YouTube to the praise break. They just jump up and hit the praise. They come to my house, 6 o'clock in the morning, the praise break. Amen. But you know what? I'd rather them be praise breaking than doing something else. Get that thing down in your children's spirit. The Bible says, train up a child. And we got to take care of our children. We got to take care of our children. They're, they're the future. And if we as the people of God don't help to develop them in the word of God, y'all don't hear me, amen, then we lose them. Amen. Let me get to this message. I don't know how I got on that. Amen. God is good and I'm not going to be long. If I give you part of this, is that all right? Amen. That's good. Thank you, first lady. Amen. And Amen. And the fast, you that are on the fast, amen, stay on it. If you're doing well, keep doing, amen. I've been doing good. I never knew what plant-based was. Come on, say praise the Lord. Amen. I know now. Our tofu sound like something speaking in tongues. Yeah? Amen. Amen. I never knew, amen, but the nuts and the fruit. And those things. Sometimes God needs to just cleanse us of all unrighteousness. We on these 21 days, we want the Lord to cleanse us. Cleanse our mind. Take out that negative stuff. Take out that stuff that you know that ain't right in you. Amen. God, in these 21 days, uh, I want you, not only are you cleansing me, on the inside, but I want you to cleanse my heart, my spirit. Give me the right spirit. Give me the, the right mind. Don't, don't let me be so angry. Amen. Some folk in life are just angry. Amen. Lord, take that anger out of my mind. Take, take that negative spirit. Take that unruly tongue out of my mouth. And Lord, I may be a deacon, a minister, evangelist, a pastor, and y'all ain't saying nothing. World-renowned TV evangelist. Fix me. Yes, me. Yes. Like it would have me to be. Is that right? And the fast has been doing me good. 
Amen. Amen. Doing me good. Amen. Prayer. Prayer. Amen. Is a solemn request for help or expression of thanks addressed to God or an object of worship. You remember we used to sing that song, dude? We worship Christ, our Lord. We worship our Lord. And I used to love this part. We lift our hands to him. Today, we were, my God, I felt something Go ahead, Coop. I told you we're going to have music ministry, too. Leave that alone. Leave that alone, Coop. You may not be here in full body, but you ought to be running across into all your rooms. But open the door. Amen. Amen. You can do what you need to do in your house. I'm going to say this and I'm moving on. I was in my house. I wasn't able to get outside to do my steps like I wanted. Guess what I did? I did them in the house. Two miles. Walk to every room, every area, and I just, you completed one mile. Hear my phone talking to me. Watch, talk. Keep going. You completed two miles. Don't tell me what you can't do. That's the point I was coming to. Amen. Watch this. Amen. Uh, the word reason, reason why we ought to pray, a cause or explanation or justification for an action or an event. Uh, we want to see God do something. Yeah, yeah. Amen. When I pray, I push. Why do I push? I pray until something happens. Anybody with me? Yeah. Amen. I don't just pray, Brother Ramos, just to be praying because I know a few prayer words. Amen, amen. I pray from the sincerity of my heart because I need something to happen. And what I'm praying for, preach butts, all the time is not what I need him to do for me. Do I have a witness? Most of my prayers now are for my family and my church and then myself. Can I get a witness here? So we pray, we see uh, uh, in this, this uh, text, uh, the Greek writers use the adverb translated without ceasing, uh, ceasing to describe the word that we know, and we used to say a person, a hacking cough. Uh -huh. Paul did not explain it to his readers to be in prayer every minute, but to continue praying frequently. Amen. That's what's wrong with the church world today. Uh, we pray today and the next time we pray is two weeks from now. It's because we, look here, there's somewhere, Duke's doing the course, I'm almost through, doing the course of the week, uh, 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 Deacon Price, that we can find uh, Lee, I can find 10 to 15 minutes a day or more to give God some prayer time. Even if it's on my lunch break. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Amen. You don't have to have a secret closet. Your mind needs to be closed to the world and open to God. 
Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Amen. So, so that is some place, and sometimes you ought to be able to have some prayer time. You shouldn't go a whole week or all day. Let's not get into the week. You shouldn't go all day, MJ, without giving God prayer time. And it's not how pretty you can say it. Sometimes this is my prayer. Lord, help. <laughs> Lord, help right now. Need you right now. I, I, I have no time. Uh, I stand here before an empty picture, a full fountain uh, uh, with an empty picture, and I need no help. Watch this. Why, why I don't have to go through all that, Elder Solomon? Because before I call, yes, 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 yes. he'll answer. He already knows. Know. Sometimes we spend in Lord uh, going along and got one eye open, one eye closed because you said the Bible say watch as well as pray. So if we live this way and, and put prayer a part of our life, God will Work it out. Uh, what is the meaning of praying without ceasing? Hmm? What is it? What does it mean? It means none stop. Uh, and it says it actually means constantly reoccurring. Men ought to and not to faint. Always meaning continuously. So how can you get through today? Sometimes when I'm just riding in the car, I cut off the, the radio. And I begin every morning. I don't cut my radio on until I get about like five miles from the school. But during that whole time, I'm praying. There's times for you to pray. And we need to stop making excuses why we don't pray. Some folk, uh, first lady, you can finish this. I may have to sit down. Amen. Uh, don't pray until they need something. And then you know all the right words to say, Elder Duke. Up until then, we couldn't get you to pray. You didn't know how to pray. You, we told you the Bible said, teach me how to pray, our Father. You didn't even know that. Amen. But when you get in trouble, it just looked like all that stuff come back to your remembrance. When we get in trouble, we know how to pray, speak in tongues, run aisles, we know how to dance, but God is saying here, oh, just don't stop praying. Prayer is the key. Faith unlocks the door. Your prayer activates your faith. Huh? When you need God to move, when you finish praying and communicate, that's communion with the Lord. You can, can I preach? You're talking to God. Then once you get the assurance in your prayer, you feel it. You know it. Then it activates your faith to get to another level. Anybody with me? Because sometimes the enemy comes in like a flood, Trinity, and he will try to distract us. But prayer is our firewall. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Prayer. If you had to pray and have faith, God bless Deacon Price in his book. Hey Amen. I'm going to be a champion. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Huh? Prayer lets me know I can keep going and it, it'll work. Prayer pushes me past my weakness. Huh? Y'all ain't saying that to me. Somebody shout glory. As there are reasons to do. Whatever we do, the reasons we go, go to work is so that we can have income. You don't go to work for somebody to keep your check. If you do, you don't want them playing. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that to me. Amen. Amen. We can have income to provide food, shelter, pay our bills. Amen. 
as well as provide for our other needs. I can't just go to work and she keeps smiling on Sunday and don't bring that check home. I say, honey, uh, don't worry about it. I'm working for them. That's a trick of the enemy. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And then out of all of her uh, resilience and anointing, she'll look at me and say, you better start working for us. Y'all ain't saying. So she's praying that God would deal with. How many of you know you have to pray for your loved ones and your family members? And, amen. Amen. How many of you know you got some? Amen. You can laugh or say what you want. Sometimes that elevator don't reach the top floor. Amen. 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 Because they don't believe God. They don't believe in God. That lets you know it ain't going up. Y'all ain't saying that. Some folks still in the basement. That's why you got to keep praying for them. Pray without ceasing. Call out everybody in my family, name by name, family by family, person by person. God meet their needs, but also put your spirit in them. See, that's what we know. When I preach to you, I ain't preaching to what I see. I'm preaching to that spirit in you that know who God is because he put it in you. It came from him. Oh, man, I felt something then. Somebody shout glory. The reason we got to go to the doctor is so that we can be healthy. Amen. Get treatment for our illnesses. Huh, the reason we engage in relationship is so that we can have companionship. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. The reason that we come to church is so that we can worship God and have fellowship with our brothers and sisters. Amen. Hebrews 10, 25 say, fail not to assemble yourselves together. Amen. That's why we come to church. But exalting one another so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Huh? When we come here, we uplift each other. We have an opportunity, watch this, here it is again, to pray for each other. But how many know sometimes you come to church, you ain't as happy as you are on first Sunday? During the week, something happened. Uh, challenges came up that caused you, but as long as I can get to where the saints are. You know that song, say, pray, pray for me. I know dukes don't go there. They was ready. Yeah, I ain't going to mess with that right now. Let me finish praying. Sister Captain from that Baptist church, she'll take off and on that plan. Come on, say praise the Lord. So the text says Paul commands his, re his readers to pray without ceasing. They should always be mindful about the importance of prayer. Sometimes I think we take prayer and put it in the closet and put it on the shelf. When we ought to have prayer with us every day. Huh? Huh? Is that right? Prayer is crucial to our spiritual well-being of every Christian. How you go through the day without praying? You're talking about you know who God is. Can't get you to pray. Working on you to fast. So you need to pray that God give you the mind to fast. Huh? You got to have it. I can't eat no nuts. And, and no fruit every day because you know how it is. And you ain't even on medication. You know, Pastor, I'm on medication. <laughs> you going to buy Robitussin is not putting you on medication. That's another message. Amen. 60 proof. Come on, say praise the Lord. Somebody shout glory here. But prayer is lacking in many of our lives 
as believers, to pray without ceasing does not mean that we pray 24 hours a day. Sometimes when you come into Christ, folks say, I can't live a saving, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled life because, you know, they, they, they wear long dresses to the ground. Amen. Their head is covered. Uh, amen, amen. They got on long sleeves so you can't see their arms. They got closed in toes. And as a man, I can't wear them new shirts. My wife just bought me. Amen. I just want to know what Bible you reading. Amen. The Bible tells us, amen, when he changed us, then he takes that worldly sight out of us. Y'all ain't saying that. That's our problem. We, we see too much of this world and we don't see enough Jesus. That's why you need to pray so he can open your eyes. Huh? Somebody shout glory. Amen, amen, uh, uh, amen, amen. Every child of God should spend quality time with God in prayer. How much time, if I was to ask you uh, to comment, but don't do it today, maybe next Sunday. How much time do you put in during the week in prayer? I'm not talking about emergency prayer. I'm talking about just your prayer time. Do you have a time set up? Now, granted, life challenges cause you sometimes to alter your prayer time, but not for you not to have it. Woo. Huh? It alters your prayer time because sometimes you didn't know this meeting was coming up at 2 o'clock and you normally pray at 2 but it causes you to push it back to three, but it does not alter or stop your prayer time. Don't, don't you, we find excuses. Well, I, I, I'm tired. Amen, amen, amen. So you tell me you're so tired, you can't take a few minutes and talk to a God that you're getting ready to go to sleep and expect him to watch over you. Why are you sleeping? And say, Lord, if it ain't nothing, but I just thank you for the day. Do you hear me? It, it's some simple thing. Lord, I thank you for bringing me through the morning. I'm a little tired in my body. I'm getting ready to lay down and rest. But, Lord, I just want to tell you, thank you for this point. Now, just watch over me and camp your angels around me. In Jesus' name, amen. Is that simple enough? Huh? If you want to see the miraculous power of God in your life, Pray. Uh-oh, I'm getting ready to ask a question here. Dukes, is this all right? Amen, amen. Watch this. I'm getting ready to ask you, have you ever prayed for somebody and you had enough prayer, in your, enough power in your prayer that God delivered? <laughs> Let me ask you in Facebook and YouTube, have you ever prayed for anybody and you had enough power in your prayer? Don't just do it or say it in the comment because you want somebody to know you were listening. I want you to be truthful. Have you ever prayed for somebody and you had enough power in your prayer that God delivered? See, in order to have a good prayer life, you got to learn how to consecrate yourself. These things come not but by prayer and fasting. You want God to fill you. Fill me up. Till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up. Till I overflow. Oh, my Lord and Lord. I want to run over. I want to run over. Can you say that one more time? Fill, Fill me up. Oh, 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 oh. oh Lord. Till, Till I, I overflow. Now stop, Duke. I just, I got lost there. I closed my eyes and I was in the dark. I had to come back. Yeah, I lost sight on y'all. I closed my eyes and I was, <laughs> I 
house finna go. I think dukes do that on purpose. Yeah, you do. Put you out in front of the people on Sunday school and then he try to mess you up doing your message. Come on, say praise the Lord. Watch this. I'm almost through. Every child of God should spend quality time. If you want to see miraculous power of God in your life, you got to pray. When we are serious about our prayer, God will be serious about the things that we are praying for. Now, there are some instructions that comes with victories, consequences, things that we have to do. Not only pray, but live the life. That he requires for us. Now watch this. I'm going to help some of those that ain't living how they ought to live. His grace and his mercy endure forever. Because sometimes everybody ain't doing what they ought to do. But because we are his, he looked beyond all our faults. The scripture says God answers not the prayer of a sinner. Hmm? And somebody said, well, how did I get saved? He decided. It wasn't you. Oh, y'all just missed that. Because he loved you and created you in spite of our ignorance, our, he know we didn't have good sense you have good sense not to serve a God who gives you everything you desire and allow you to get up every morning and love your family, see your family and then you not give him reverence. Amen. I better move on. So when we get serious about the things that we're praying for, then God will get serious about what he'll do for us. Watch this. I know you don't believe it. Some churches are stagnant in their prayer. Every morning here at New Heart Christian Center, and I know they'll be putting that up on the screen, you can call in at 6 o'clock. And from 6 to 3, and according to who's praying, 6 to 5, to 6.05, amen, because they get caught up in their prayer. Amen. You can be in prayer with us on the prayer line. We've been in prayer and on Tuesdays at 12 on the same line since the pandemic has started. And before. And, and somebody said, well, Pastor, when are we going to stop praying? Has Jesus returned? No. We, the Bible, we just talking about, oh, come on, don't y'all quit. Praying without seeing. How can you be a pastor and don't have your church doing these times? Praying. I wish we could get the mothers out here to lay on the floor, sit in the church, put over their long cloth over their leg, and just sit here and pray. But because of the conditions yeah. that's going on, they can still do it in their homes. Yeah. Hmm? Church does not stop because of the pandemic. God opened every avenue we need for church. But your response to what we give you is what you need to pray about. See, because if we don't pray right, then we'll stop tithing. If, why y'all ain't say amen then? If we don't pray right, we won't give right. Well, there's nobody to watch me. I'm not at the church, so I could do. God is holding you accountable Every day for everything that you were doing before the pandemic. This is the time you show God, I ain't going to stop because there's no pandemic. Lord, I'm still going to work. I'm still getting a check. 
I still eat. I got a roof over my head. I got a vehicle to ride in. How in the world can you stop blessing God? Oh, let me preach. Is this all right? Huh? Watch this. Understand this, my brothers and sisters. When I say pray, I'm not talking about those little quick prayers. Lord, give me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, work it out. I'm broke. In the name of Jesus. Just in the. When you pray, it doesn't matter to me how quick or short it is. It's the sincerity of your heart. When you pray. I wish somebody would help me here. Huh? I wish you would realize it's not. I know some deacons. We used to have back. Baptist deacon that joined our church and came into uh, Butts Temple and joined. Oh, you talking about I could pray. Now, Heavenly Father, before then, come for you now. A, I mean, he started going on. We, we lose him after now, Heavenly Father. <laughs> and at the end, by the time he gets through, him name Jesus, come on, and we show gone then. But we know he prayed. <laughs> Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Amen. How many of you know God only needs to know what you're praying about? And watch this, what you're praying for. Let me ask you that are here this morning. Do you have a need you need to be worked out right now? Anybody need an immediate answer? He knows our situation, but he wants to know is your heart sincere about what you're doing? Oh, I'm preaching here. I'm preaching. You that are out there, amen, watching. If you're enjoying it, just say amen. Hmm? Prayer is the only means of communication with God. When we sing, we sing to what? Glorify God. Is that right? Fire. Come on in and help me. No. Somebody better get an usher for Sister Fulbright. She probably done took off across the aisle. Deep, you better move stuff. Ha! Woo! Huh? When I preach, I'm communicating with God. Hmm? When we testify, we're communicating with God. God will do through prayer what he will not do through any other thing. I don't care what you do. Prayer can get there quicker than you can. Sometimes people call me and say, pray, Pastor, pray. Now, I'm, I'm probably 20, 30, 40 miles away from him. But prayer can move faster than me. I don't care how fast I go down 95 getting here, doing 95. I believe that's what the sign said. I 95. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I don't care. But while I'm praying, it's already at the hospital before I get there. Y'all ain't going to help me. 
Somebody shout glory. Watch this. I'm closing, Dukes. I ain't going to get it because I'm starting to feel it, and I don't want to go there today. Every Christian should have a prayer life. What does Christian mean? Maybe you don't know you one. You just use the word because they told you if you go to church, you are a Christian. Well, I'm here to tell you because you go to church, don't make you a Christian. Christian means Christ-like. If you're not like Christ, I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. Oh, how? I want to be like him. So me can love. Oh, how? I want to be like him. Need Mother Long then to sing that one. She probably the only one know the words. <laughs> Shout glory. I'm almost there, Dukes. I'm, I'm closing. When you ask God for things, don't forget to thank him. No matter what it is. A lot of people say, Lord, Pastor, I've been praying for a wife. I've been praying for a husband. But when you finish your prayer, you ain't say, Lord, thank you. So that might be the whole up, Brother Ramo. <laughs> you ain't closed. You left it open. Huh? Lord, just send, a, send him. Amen. And then you get on up and go to work. You ought to say, Lord, send them, and I'm thanking you in advance for what you're getting ready to do. Oh, let me leave that alone. And somebody right now, in Jesus' name, thank you, first lady. Now you're getting up closing a prayer. You done prayed 20 years ago and wonder why you've been by yourself. You're never late. Go ahead and close it. Watch this. We should include others in our prayer. Some people selfish. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in there. Not my brother, not my sister, not my mother. It's me standing in the need of prayer. How many of you know you need to pray for others? Amen. For their encouragement. Yes. For them, watch this, holding on. Yes. Yes. For their mind. Yes. How many of you know it's so easy? If you ain't strong and spiritually, mentally strong, you'll lose your mind. You'll be right here and don't know what's going on. Huh? I've seen people. I've been to talk to people that I've talked to for years. And right now when I talk to them, they don't even know me. Because of stuff they've done in their life have caused them to overload. So you got to pray. You already know. You got to pray for folks. God, don't let them overload. Don't, don't let them be oh, overload means overwhelmed. Don't, don't let life overtake them. Don't let the challenges of bills and everything overtake them. Huh? And watch this. Lord, allow them to stay within their means Amen. so they don't be stressed. Oh, why y'all ain't shouting now? Because how many of you know sometimes we overload? Amen. And then we ask God to bring us out. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Prayer requires faith. You can play Dukes, I'm through. Cool, y'all can come on, I'm through. I'll finish this next Sunday. Prayer requires faith, but sometimes it's just about us. I told you the song, say, not my mother, not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord. Now sometimes we have to be selfish because you can't help nobody else if you can't help yourself. Let me say that again. Amen. If you don't help yourself, you can't help me. You can't help the church. Y'all don't hear me. He helps those who help themselves. The spirit of I can do all things. 
through Christ. First lady say you got to activate your faith. Prayer activates your faith. When you pray, Lord, give me enough faith to know that I'm coming out with my hands up. Anybody know what I'm talking about? We should always say, not my will, but thine will be done. Come on, stand to your feet. I'm through today. Prayer changes things. We want to pray for Sister Riddle, Laura Riddle. She lost her sister in the pandemic. And we want to pray for her. And you that else, you and anyone else that have ones that you want us to pray for, put them now in the comments. I want to give you a few minutes. Put their names in there. If you have to put your own name, we want to pray. We pray. Anytime you lose a loved one, it hurts. I'm standing in the need. Oh, my Lord, a prayer. Sister Ebony, Brother PJ, Sister Gail, Ella Long, Brother Allen, Sister Rita, touch them right now. In the name of Jesus, Mother Esther, The mother that passed, Sister Riddle's mother that passed. Father, we come before you now. No other help we know. We need you, Lord, to meet the needs for these families. Cover them right now. In the name of Jesus. God, we know you're a healer. We know you're a deliverer. Lord, if you've done it once, you can do it again. Touch right now. Touch that woman, that boy, that girl, that man. Right now, heal. Let your blood cover right now. Whatever problem it is, whatever disease it is, heal right now in the name of Jesus. Satan, we come against everything everything that you try to do to him to God's people let the blood cover I plead the blood right now in the name of Jesus cancer you got to go those that have caught the virus you got to go that pandemic has to leave in the name of Jesus touch them in the hospital the nursing home touch them in their homes touch them in their bodies right now from the top of the head to the soul, everywhere, all over this land. I know you can and I know you will. I know you can and I know you will. And we're standing on your word. All we have is your word. You said heaven and earth will pass away before your word will fail. We're praying right now and we're believing what we're praying. Give them the faith that they know that they can come out of this. Give them the faith to hold on. Assure them that weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. I am healed. I am delivered. I am set free. You got to know it. Say it. I am healed. I am delivered. I am set free. Say it again. I am healed. I am delivered and I am set free in Jesus name it is so and so it is amen sing the song standing in the need of prayer come on oh yeah my father my sister 
my sister. bless you while you're standing maybe someone you don't have a church home and you need a church home it doesn't matter where you are all over this country you can be a part and connect with us here at New Heart amen call us here at the church amen at 386-238-0050 and someone will Take your name and your number, and one of our evangelists or ministers will get back with you. Call us here at 386-238-0050. If you'd like to be a uh, member here and connect and be a part of this, I mean, wherever you are, Flagler, wherever you are, Jacksonville, Washington, D.C., California, North Carolina, amen, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, wherever, all over this world, Hawaii, Amen. And we got folk that talk to us all the way from Korea. Amen. Amen. And talk to us that are enjoying the service over there. Amen. God bless you. We love you. We're getting ready to give. Amen. It's time for us to give. And I want to say, amen, God bless you. You may take your seat, you that are here. Amen. We ask all of our New Heart members, you are tithers and givers. Amen. Do not stop tithing and giving. That is your blessing, amen, and your connection, amen, with God. He told us to do those things, amen. And you that are on Facebook and YouTube that watch us, amen, you are able to give and give to us. Let God touch your heart in your giving. On last week, we all gave $21. If you want to do that today, our New Heart members, we know what we do. We ask for you to do those things. Amen. You that on Facebook, let God touch your heart. I might have said that, but God said I need to do more. There are some of you, amen, know about tithing and giving. Amen. And you've decided today I need to start back doing those things and doing it right. All the information is on the screen for you to give, and we thank God for you, amen, uh, for your giving and seeding into our ministry because we could not do what we do without you. And we want to tell you thank you in advance for what you're getting ready to do. God bless those that are about to give those seeds that they're about to plant into good ground. We do understand that this is good ground. And God, we need you to bless and give back to them. Multiply over 100 fold. Give it back to them. The things that they are giving to you and multiply because some are making sacrifice some have needs, but they're going to give today. They're going to pay their tithe. Amen. And we want you to bless them for being obedient to the man of God. And we thank you now. We give your name praise, honor, and glory. God bless you. Until we meet again next week, all the information will stay on the screen for you to give. Amen. And remember, only what you do for Christ will last. Well, come on, Dukes, Coop, come on, MJ. Come on.
that are putting your names in the comment area. We will be praying over those names, our ministers, evangelists, the first lady, and myself. You that are putting those names in the comment area for us to pray over, I want you to know we see them and we will be praying over them. God bless you.
Sometimes you just have to worship, just you and God. Come in this place, Lord. Come in this place. I just want to be with you, just you and the Lord. Tell him I just want to be with you. Alpha and Omega in my life. He's the very beginning and the end. Everything I need, Lord. Everything I need, Lord. You are king. You are king. And you shall come in. You are my master, Jesus. You are my savior, Jesus. You are my healer, Jesus. You are my deliverer, Jesus. Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I give you the glory, Jesus. I give you the glory, Jesus. So I will dance. I will dance. I will pick up my feet and praise. Bless you, Jesus. I will sing hallelujah. Glory to you, Jesus. I give you the highest praise. Yeah, Lord. Oh, yeah, Lord. Sing, Jesus. the name of the Lord if you want to be in his presence. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords and he deserves a praise. <laughs>